Welcome back to another episode of the Mars Hydro SP250 and the Pepper Plant pH test. These have grown quite a bit since the last episode, as you can see here. Uh, as a side note, though, the videos that you watch uh, as I schedule them to upload aren't actually done in the same day. So they could be a week, two weeks, sometimes three weeks out after I've actually recorded them. So you might be watching this quite a bit after the fact. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to do this episode real quick to kind of go over just a, a few things. I don't want to make this too long. But one thing that was interesting when I came down to the basement here is I noticed um, they all look identical in the fact they have one single flower here right up at where the split is. One flower there, one flower there, and over the next one, and one flower there. It's kind of interesting how they're all pretty much identical. You know, usually when flowers open on plants like this, they don't really stay open for really all that long. So they're all pretty much in the exact same growth stage. As far as how they look here, um, the tops, the leaves are just a little bit crinkly and that's not really abnormal for pepper plants, but um, the reason why they look like this here on the top and not so much with these leaves is just pretty much lighting intensity. And what I've been doing is trying to keep this light adjusted um, to a specific level uh, away from the plants. And I've been using my Apogee MQ500 PAR meter here to do that. So I've been trying to keep it at about between 500 and 700 micromole at the plant tops. And right now they're looking like they're at the exact same height and that's just an illusion if you haven't noticed. I have these two here on the end, this one here is the pH 6.5. That is the pH of 7.5. And I just have them up on wood to kind of keep them all even at the tops. It's just easier that way to make sure they're receiving the same amount of light. Uh, so that's about an inch and a half up. And then the center one is not off on, it's not on anything. It's just kind of sitting on the floor. So, but you can see they're pretty much all even. This one over here has started growing just a little bit taller. So what I did with the light is I just angled this side up slightly and I've just been measuring it with the power meter to make sure it's, it's all about even on the tops here. So now I'll just take a quick look at the roots to see how those are doing and see how much water has been consuming. And see down in there, the roots are looking really good, especially for the one that's a pH of 7.5. It looks like it's doing pretty well especially with all those air roots on there. And there is not a lot of water left in the bottom. I'm gonna have to actually work on that today. And actually saying that, I'm actually going to change the solution over to the uh, transitional solution, the uh, transition to bloom mixture, which is basically just doubling the amount of TDS I have in there now. And this one here, this is the 5.5 pH and it looks about the same as the other one. Lots and lots of air roots on that. Roots look really healthy. And we'll close that one. Look at the one that's pH of 6.5. This one here, um, I would say they look pretty much all the same. Lots of air roots again. And this one, if I had to say anything that there's any difference with this, is that the roots are more tightly compacted. But I, I can't really can't really say that for sure as if it has anything to do with the pH. It's just probably the way that it's growing. Um, at the end, you'll see a time lapse of this entire thing and we'll, not the roots, but you'll see the plant time lapse and we'll also be taking a look at the roots as well. Um, actually, you know what I probably wanna do here is probably smell this. Sometimes smelling it really kind of says more about what's going on. Let's see here. Okay, that one smells kind of healthy. It's actually kind of smells like nutty. Almost like peanut. Let me try this one here. Mm, that one almost has no smell to it. The, it's a more acidic one. Let me try the 6.5. Same thing with that. The pH of 6.5 almost has no smell to it. Um, it's really odd. Normally you'd have more odor. But yeah, so the ones that's pH of 5.5 and 6.5 have very little odor to it whatsoever, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, it's just interesting to note. And the one that's pH of 7.5 has a much stronger odor. And it doesn't smell bad at all. Uh, it just smells nutty, like almost like peanut. So, yeah, it's doing pretty well. Uh, there's actually a lot of little 
little blooms, well not blooms, but flowers starting here. And uh, that's why I said I want to transition over to a more TDS because it's pretty much time for that. And if I don't do that, these are going to start dropping off. Um, I think these are plenty large for these containers at this point. They will still grow a little bit more. Um, but once they start doing this, I want to feed them a little bit more so I can get the peppers start to grow. So, yeah, uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.